Good morning, everybody. Today is a big day here in the Madsen house. Lou and I are actually gonna take care of some grooming that has needed to happen for a while now. Normally my beard does not look this bad. I just did that for you guys, so you can kind of see how burly, how big, how kind of... Hey, you quit talking back there. How nasty, not nasty, how big this thing has gotten. So today I am going in for a beard trim to one of my favorite barbers. I've not been there in a long time because my beard has not been very long in a long time. If you guys remember, I cut this thing back in January when we went to Hawaii. That was because I wanted to be able to go scuba diving, snorkeling, all that stuff and not worry about my mask leaking. And since then, I've actually learned that you can put silicone stuff here across your mustache and your mask will actually seal to your face with that stuff so never again will I shave the beard just to go scuba diving or snorkeling I'll just use that silicone stuff because I tried that out this summer when we were in the Caribbean but this has been about 10 months of growth right here so I'm gonna go in for a little trim today after work I'm super excited about it because I'm heading over to this place called scissor and bone they're awesome awesome barbershop they are so good at what they do they're not touching the hair just the beard today but I'm not the only one that's gonna be looking a little flyer today after work Lou also, where's that stinker? This little guy's getting some work done today too. His hair is getting pretty long. It's been a while since he's been to the groomer. So he's going in too. I'm going in. Just wait till you see us after work hours, guys. It's gonna be a huge transformation. What up? All right, you guys. Daniel and Louie are both off getting haircuts today. Well, Louie's getting a real haircut and Daniel is getting his beard trimmed. And I gotta tell you, I am so excited because truth be told, I actually really do like Daniel's beard like a lot, especially, especially when it is freshly trimmed and has like lots of beard oil in it. That's like my ultimate favorite when he has a beard. I love that. So I'm very excited because today Day is the day that that happens. All right guys, I am home from the grocery store and I have a crap ton of groceries now to put away, but that's okay. Before I do that, I wanted to share with you guys something that I am so excited about and something that I have been working on and like working towards for kind of a while now. So kind of excited, kind of more than excited. I am hosting a content day for photographers at any level. So whether you are major expert or brand new, just picking up a camera and don't even really know how to like use it that well, any level of photography or even videography that you are at, I am hosting a content day for you. So if you guys have not checked out my Instagram, I have posted tons of details about it on our Dan and Shell Instagram right here or my Michelle Madsen photo Instagram right here. I have posted a lot of details about it. it is going to be so much fun we have two incredible styled shoots scheduled and set up ready to go we have gorgeous models coming we have a beautiful wedding dress gorgeous flowers and bouquet and then a really fun New Year's couple party theme shoot plan that's going to be so cool we have tons of fun props and confetti and like everything that we're gonna be playing with with that and like sparklers and all this cool stuff so you guys it's gonna be so much fun I am hosting it on Saturday November 16th and it's going to be held in Utah County and it's going to be a blast my really good friend Sloan Olivia photography I'll put her Instagram right here her and I are hosting it together but you guys can go check her out. She's got details about it posted on her stories as well. You can find it on our Dan and Shell page or you can find it on my Michelle Madsen photo page. It's in my highlights. It's also on my stories right now. You guys check it out. It is going to be so much fun. Like seriously, so much fun. So anybody who is just starting out with photos or is really good and even wants to come and teach me a thing or two, come. This photo shoot is for you. Two styled shoots, Saturday, November 16th you guys for more details check out my stories because it's going to be a blast and if any of you have any interest in coming please come first of all I'd love to meet you second of all we would totally have a blast party together Daniel's gonna come and get some epic video for all of us Sloan and I are gonna be killing it on the cameras trying to anyway and answering any questions that anybody might have taking any feedback that anybody might have whatever it may be come party with us it's going to be so much fun for more details check out my stories hit us up in the DMS if you have any questions I honestly hope to see some of you there that would be so much fun to be able to meet some of you guys so any of you who are interested in photography want to come hang out and just get some really cool content come hang out with us it's going to be a blast 
All right, guys, this is it. So I'm not cutting the whole thing off. It's just gonna get trimmed up. It's gonna look a lot nicer. I wanna keep a lot of the length here if I can, but you know, just make it look better. Get rid of some of this bulk. Shell just picked Lou up from the groomers. She sent me a picture of the little guy and I cannot wait to get home and just see him. He's the cutest little freaking dog in the world. But I'm gonna head in, get this beard trimmed up, scissor and bone, you kill it. I'm just finishing up here at Scissor and Bone. Guys, that's not just a beard trim. That is like a full experience in there. And when I say experience, I mean good experience. Really good experience. It's pitch black already. I went in at five, it's six, just getting out. And yeah, it's pitch black. This daylight savings is still tripping me out. I just wanna tell you guys a little bit about this. They're not sponsoring this video or anything. I just love this place. For 50 bucks, they do an hour trim. So they do hair also, but they also obviously do beards. It's insanely comfortable. So what they do is they'll trim the beard you know make it look good fit it with your face whatever they do I don't understand it all but they make it look really really great and then they have these options of beard oils they let you smell them all they all smell amazing I chose refresh today had a little peppermint in there kind of feeling the holiday spirit they put that all over the skin and your beard and all of that and then they go ahead and they wrap hot towels on you and this is after they fully recline you like extremely comfortable fully reclined feet are up hot towels on your face Face, feeling amazing guys they'd let that sit on there they crank the tunes a little bit so you could just enjoy and relax and then they even give you a little arm hand massage wrap your arms and hands in hot towels while that's sitting on your face and then they actually replace the hot towel on your face I think they went through about eight or nine towels just during my hour session <laughs> and then they go ahead and they clean all this area up, clean the neck up how clean that is guys I'll show you the beard more when I get home we have a little more light but you can already tell it looks amazing they took a little bit of length off shaped it up made it fit my face looks really really good then they after they do the shaving they go ahead and do more oils they do cold towels to kind of help with irritation and stuff it's just great guys great experience scissor and bone here in orem utah of all places definitely hands down the best barber in utah if you are looking for somewhere new definitely check them out as i said they're not sponsoring this video i just have always had great experiences here they're incredible check them out on instagram scissor and bone awesome awesome place and it's a lot of fun i could have sat in there all night guys but now i'm I'm all drowsy from being so relaxed and I have to drive home, but don't worry, I'll be safe. I'm gonna get home, show Shell the new trim. Sure, she'll be stoked, and I can't wait to see little Lou and his new trim, guys. All right, let's see what Shell thinks about this puppy. I think she'll be pleasantly surprised. Oh, it's Louie! Babe, what do you think? Wow, it's short. You look handsome. Okay, Lou. Louie wants to say hi first. Oh, I have to say hi to Lou before Shell or he won't shut up. Yeah. Look at the little boy. Oh, you guys look so handsome. You both got a haircut. Oh, yeah, buddy. You look good. Babe, I like it, it though. Really good. Yeah, it's a good length. It's nice and short. It's like wide. They took some of this away and they evened it out so it wasn't like front heavy. It was so long up front, it was like front heavy. Like he showed me a side profile with a mirror and I was like, yeah, I can see what you're talking about. A little front heavy. Yeah. Took out some from there. Did they straight razor you? Yeah. Like seriously, like three hot towels on my face, two cold towels, tons of beard oil. Smell it. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, right? I can it's a get little used to holiday that. Holiday seasoning there. Yeah, peppermint. I like that. Are scissor and bone, good job. We love scissor and bone. Do you eat? Oh. Help. If they did dogs, that's where he would go. <laughs> No, we're not making pizza here. Guys, my mom used to make scones for us all the time when we were little out of Rhodes rolls that like she wasn't gonna use for rolls, you know? I 
and wanting to tr keep the tradition alive. Mostly because I ruined a bag of Rolls Rolls and my mom was like, oh, just save them and make scones. So I've saved this bag that has now turned into a giant piece of mushed up dough. Looks del it smells delicious. Just, yeah. I still think it smells like yummy dough. It smells like yeast. And so we're gonna try and make scones. And all I'm doing is going off of memory from when I was a child. She has an impeccable memory though. Of what my mom would do. And I fear that, oh, Louie's interested. He's interested in everything. Hi, bud. I think they'll turn out. Yeah. We're boiling some oil here on the stove. Not boiling. Not boiling. Just getting hot. Everyone, calm down. Oh, she loves it when she eats it. <laughs> oh, it's, it's popping. It's to the bottom. That's not what's supposed to happen. It's bubbling. Okay, so the oil's not hot enough yet. Okay, you know what? It's the first pancake. The first pancake's always a sacrifice, always a mess up. Testing in three, two, one. Smell test, you pass. Okay. Oh, wow. Is it good? It's so it good. Like? It's like a straight up donut. It's like better than a donut. Mom, this is a um, proud daughter moment, okay? I remembered from high school days when you would make scones for me and my friends at one in the morning, and I have now created them in my own home. <laughs> for my husband and I at 7.15 p.m. <laughs> that was a huge success, babe, thank you. Yeah, those were really good. Oh, I wanna Mom, show you. Proud. She made a donut one. It's a real donut! Listen guys, watch out, okay? She's coming. Shell's Bakery coming at ya. We serve frozen dough scones. I think everyone's already happy. And store-bought honey butter. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like the new beard trim. It always takes me oh, some getting used to, so it's okay if it takes you some getting used to as well. We hope you like this. Oh, he's 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 so Are you the most handsome? He's you too are. humble. He'll never say that. Hey, we love y'all so much, you guys. Thank you so much for watching another video by us. Guys, we have some really fun, exciting things. I know we say that a lot, but we promise you we're not yanking your chain. Is that the saying? Yeah. We just have not wanted to share any of it with anybody because we just want to make sure we can bring it all to life before we share. But just know we've got some really exciting things in the works, so make sure you guys subscribe down below if you haven't already. You guys, make sure you are checking out our Instagrams, calling all photographers and videographers at any level, any experience level whatsoever, come hang out with us Saturday, November 16th. Check out our stories and my stories on Michelle Madsen Photo. For all of the details, it's going to be in Utah County. You guys, it's going to be so much fun. Seriously, I cannot wait. We have the coolest shoots planned, so please, please, please make sure you check out those stories and come hang out with us. Come party with us. It's going to be a blast. We love you all. We'll see you next Good time. Good night, guys.